Okay, guys, once you have reached level 13, you get this condition called Material Condition. A synthesis process material condition will fluctuate between excellent and poor. Using touch action, when condition is either good or excellent, will result in greater increases in quality. When the action is successful, note however that in the following steps, material condition will always drop to poor. Uh oh. <laughs> so we gotta be careful. Okay guys, welcome back to another fun episode of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. As you can see, I have switched to Conjurer's Mode. The reason being that if I put on my soul crystal as the White Mage, there is a quest that I cannot unlock. So you have to be a level 30 Conjurer. The reason being is that the quest that we are doing to go to wait for it <laughs> wait for it cuz I saw this it's from Bray yeah here and it's called the unicorn power Bray has need of a benevolent adventure to tend to a wounded beast guess what guys this is how we maintain your unicorn <gasps> yes, right. We obtained the unicorn. So, we're gonna accept. So, we're gonna have to use cure to heal the injured unicorn. So, let's see. It's in the North Shroud, right here in Elder Spring. So, we're going to go right out here. So, we're going to come around, which I'm going to do right now. That's right. You guys are going to get a map view. I have no clue where I'm going, but we're going to go map view wise. <laughs> and I have no clue how I'm steering because I'm driving by the map. Oh, I'm running into things. Ah, I'm stuck. Let's see if I can move around it. <laughs> Welcome to the map view. Your GPS through the map view viewing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. We made it. We made it through. We're going through. We're going through. And we made it. We're out the door. Woohoo. Welcome to the North Shroud. <laughs> And of course. And we're still on Matthew, but we got rid of that. So we are headed right here. So we can get on our chocobo. So we can go a little bit faster. And yes, I know I'm spamming you guys with this, but I feel like I should. Otherwise, I don't think you're gonna know exactly where. Of course, if you love your map directions right here. Yeah, but right here it is. Boom, Chakalaka. So I'm gonna unmap it, and I'm gonna. We're just. You're just gonna look it through there. I feel like I should, but I just wanna unmap it. And I'm gonna probably pop it up from time to time so I can see where the hell I'm going. <laughs> so I basically, follow the path. Woohoo! We're in here. We're in the money. We're in the money. Na -na 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 -na. Uh, I bet you're wondering why I have a level 15. Well, I was an idiot and I kind of, uh, kind of either when I was crafting, sold it uh, <laughs> to either a vendor because I thought it was the wrong thing. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's alright. I'll be able to craft it. Craft my staff again as soon as I get it high enough. So, we're gonna head this way. We're gonna follow this speech bubble right here. If you can't see it, 
Zoom a little bit closer. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have that specific option to zoom. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Big rock guys in the house! Welcome to fate, but we're running like crazy, so we want to ignore them. Ah! Wah, that hurt. <laughs> oh dear. He's trying to kill it. No! <laughs> uh. Okay, I gotta find a location of this. Oh, that was perfect, a little landing for me. Come on down here, baby. Just come on down. You know you wanna come on down. <laughs> I'm not checking about rocks at, at, at ledges. That's what all the birdie bell for. Alright, we're gonna zoom on in here. So I can see where the heck I'm going. Oh, by the way. Um, I'm no longer in a realm reborn. I mean, yeah. A spirit reborn. Excuse me. <laughs> the guild called the spirit reborn. My guild has basically moved to, uh, has moved. We are now called the Siren's Kiss. Or, oops. That's not right. It's not the Siren's Kiss. It's the Shiva's Kiss. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we are now the Shiva's Kiss. <laughs> And our little brackets are now called, and we're called Icy. Uh, the only reason why people have moved there is that basically we want, I'm assuming, everyone that is active to be active. I keep on running into eggs nests. Ah, and the wall. And the wall. Stop coming after me. Oh my god. <laughs> can I drive? No, I can't. I can't seem to drive my chocobo. Chocobo wants to get scared of those guys. Sorry, Chocobo, just run, just run! Free for life! Oh, we gotta deal with Clay Goliums too. Let's see if we can ignore him. Okay. Oh, man. Well, it's obvious that way. Man, it's just trying to find the right location. Find the right type of cushion down there. It's like a jungle of rocks and lower levels and upper levels and all of the whatnot. Okay, there it is. There it is. We have got it location wise. Ah, uh, and unfortunately I'm gonna get attacked. So we're gonna deal this way. Or not. Okay. So, hello, unicorn. Hello, unicorn. Let's check you all out. Poor little unicorn. Kisses. Kisses. <laughs> oh, we just killed our unicorn. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, like again. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's how you get your unicorn. Well, this is report back to Briar. Hey, where's my Chocobo theme song? Come on, there you go. Okay, since I, you know, I was figuring out these lovely ups and downs, ups and downs, and finding the correct route or to it is a little bit confusing. Now basically finding our way out and back to town seems a little bit easier. Okay, so basically when you want to, guys, just take, when you come out of, out of the gate, just follow this path right here, follow the rock ridge, and when you get to the gap right here, Go that way. <laughs> take a take a w west route and then down, and keep on following the rock ridge down, and then you'll eventually get to your unicorn. Best way I can describe it to you. Best way. So, oh my god. Like, where am I? What the hell? So I'm gonna do a faster way. Uh, da, 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 da. 
get him. Chocobo Porter, instead of actually teleporting. Instead of actually teleporting and getting to that, to that section, a cheaper way would be on the Chocobo Porters. I still use these guys. The reason for it, because, you know, teleporting basically... Oh, I can't show you. I'll show you when, when in this sense. Well, teleporting is basically like like 100 guild or 175 guild. A lot more expensive travel than doing a chocobo porter. Chocobo is like 5 guild or 1 guild, and that basically saves you some guild. You get to say my poor little guild's gone down to 1900. Well, that's because I basically have bought some, um. some. Gacial Greens. And I can show you where these are at too before I end this video. Just in case you guys don't know where the heck these are at. They're actually in Nugarnia. And, bef and before I end this video, I will show you exactly where they are at. I know this is a video has a lot of spam runs. It's because I wanted to show you guys all the information I've had, um, you know, all this, you know, <laughs> stuff that went down and whatnot in the guilds. But, you know, nothing really bad has really gone down in it. And everybody, all the active basically moved to this guild from that guild to that guild. So I was like, okay, no problem, no biggie. So here we are at Briars. And you know, guilds tend to do that, you know. Uh, they do tend to like, you know, grab all the active and people and move them to that guild. Because basically the other guild, even though it's really super awesome, uh, has, has collected all the people that don't want to play no more. <laughs> Which is fine. In itself, but you also, we also need to make sure that we got people that are keeping up with uh, <laughs> just ban uh, you know, you have to get um, some officers that keep up with uh, just banning those that have become inactive in forever long. <laughs> however long that you know you guys have planned the your rules at like if someone says if you're inactive for one day you are kicked out of the guild if you're active for a week you're after that you are kicked out of the guild a month after that you're kicked out of the guild three months you know depending on your timeline of what you prefer of your guild to be you want it to be hardcore do you want to be mellow do you want to be laid back that's the time frame you gotta g give. So, four legged and, and tall with pristine white coat, a single hole protruding from its brow. There is no mistake that was a unicorn you healed. And what a oh, unicorn it was. I think I said this in a very couple of my videos. Was that a unicorn? <laughs> I am so excited. And so to get my unicorn, I'm so excited! I do love unicorns. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> and complete. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I've obtained a unicorn whistle. Now I'm just wondering, how do we summon it? <laughs> uh, I just put my character to stance mode. Actions and traits. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if it's under companions. Let's see, companions. Oh uh, no, nope. my chocobo is basically my chocobo. So, now I could basically do, like, you know, instead of riding my chocobo, I could summon my chocobo and ride my unicorn. So basically going like this, and 
we're gonna unlock these for a minute. Moving this down one. And then we'll go to mounts. What the? A helium. Some of fourth are riding a here and bound this realm with powerful. Okay, I have no clue how I've attained that. I really I don't. But I'm very curious. Oh! Views! Okay then! <laughs> I have no clue how I tamed this. No clue. No clue whatsoever. So, I'll be right back here. I'm gonna sh show you guys this. Because this is new to me. <laughs> this is new! A surprise! You're a candy camera! That's all I can think of. <laughs> Anywho, oh, we're gonna go to the plaza so I can get there faster. <laughs> oh, before before we go out, I want to show you guys where you can get geisha greens if you don't know where to farm them yet. I have no clue where to farm them yet. And you can basically get geisha greens at this guy right here. It's called the Black Rabbit Trader. Click on it. Purchase tools. Gacial grains, right there. 36 gold. No problem. You can get a lot of them. And also, you got your Wayward Hatchling. And your. Oh, these these are also minions that are here. Mamet001. And your Cherry Bomb. That's also here. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so, I have this, the Hatchling. And I don't have these guys. So that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> all right, let's uh, rock and roll and head outside, and so I can see this new fancy dancy thing. If I don't get myself all turned around, <laughs> I have no clue if I should say follow that rookie, but I bet it's not a rookie. <laughs> Let's see. Repose. Inflict target with sleep. Yes. When you're a thermitage. Uh, I have no clue, guys. Really, I don't. You probably yell at me a lot. Just saying, it's not thermitage. It's however you say it. <laughs> thermitage. However you guys say that class, I have no clue. What's ever? How do you say it? Pronounce it? Because basically, when I pronounce it right, I'm still pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> so I have to take a look at this guy. My mystery mount. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the eyeball! Holy shit! Holy shit, guys! Look at that! It's the eyeball. This is my mystery mount. I'll tell you what, that is my mystery mount right there. Mystery mount! Hi, mystery mount! Uh, I usually see these guys floating around and I'm thinking, oh, that must be the summoner's uh, mount. When I see these guys right here. I'm thinking it's a summoner's mount. Check that out. Woo! Oh my goodness. So this mount is called Ah. Uh, Arimon. Arimon. <laughs> okay, that is very interesting. I'm gonna move this down again. Okay, again. Action and some traits. Mounts. And here is some unicorn. So there's a whole bunch of more, it looks like. Oh, and that is the unicorn. <gasps> and look at Lady Like. Oh yeah. It's like you ride it Lady Like. That is so cool. <laughs> and when I ride this thing, it's like, yeah, I'm a boy. Uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I thank you guys for all your likes, support, and subscribe. 
And I have recently became a partner with Free Screen. I believe. Full screen, maybe. I think it's full screen. Oh, they're gonna hit shoot me. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I do appreciate all your likes and support. And thanks for the opportunity of me becoming a full screen. I will see you guys again in our next video. See ya. Uh, but I think you, I think, if I think real hard before I say goodbye, I think this is the three months, three months, uh, mount that you've been playing, uh, Final Fantasy, I guess. You get three months mount, you get this guy. Mr. Eyeball. You poke a <laughs> His eyeball just get really small. Really small. I'm freaking out. Okay, well anyway, you guys have a nice night. Or day, depending on your time zone. And I'll see you guys later.